Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay, and uh, just to show you the book, this is the book which uh, I hope you are able to see. Yes. Unsung Heroes and uh, uh, Uplifting Stories. That's the book published by Lead Start. And uh, you know, I have published one more book about one and a half years back called Weird Adventures and Uncommon Lessons. And uh, that was more about adventures and you know various funny incidents or painful incidents of you know getting marked and various kinds of odd incidents all over. This is more about inspiring people. I mean, people who have inspired me or situations or animals, you know, which have uh, inspired me. This is a uh, collection of this kind. And uh, it is there already in Amazon uh, for you to have a look and uh, buy, obviously. That's, that's fun. So uh, thank you all for the uh, presence here. And uh, what I would do is, uh, being the youngest in the pack, I think she's not even uh, eligible to vote as of now. I'll give the chance to Ayushi Gamit. Uh, her father works for our plant in Surat. That's how I got to know. It was a very funny incident. In fact, uh, we were implementing some company-wide uh, program of change and there was some you know, ticklish point and where warring groups and consultants, you know, all this Jagada uh, Gira started happening. So I had to go there to, you know, even out things, and I learned that you know, pretty much the first half was lost in all this, uh, you know, continued. Uh, what should I say? What are words or something? So I got in between. Said no, no, no. This is not the way I want to go. I want some positive stories. Let's break up and you know, share only positive stories from wherever it is, whether it's a personal life or professional life, with your wife or you know whatever you have seen on the road. Anything will go. Okay, so, they, so people started relating and one of the stories related was Gamit's story of his extraordinary courage, fortitude, and uh, what should I say, uh, sustained efforts to come out of the uh, crisis that uh, life had pushed them and the way they have succeeded. That impressed me and I immediately called her over to our factory, which is something unusual. So I said, I, I don't mind. Please call her over. Let her uh, share her story. And that's the story which I have for this one. Ayushi. Good evening, sir. Very good evening. And uh, we are all looking forward to your sharing the story. How you felt when you went to that Ahmedabad hospital and saw so many people, scarves being taken away, etc. You can talk in Hindi or Gujarati, whatever you like. If you want to talk English, you can English in English. Okay. Sure you are very confident. Good. <laughs> yeah, carry on. मेरी मम्मी पापा ने बहुत स्ट्रगल करके मुझे बताया है वॉइस इज नॉट कमिंग प्रॉपर्ली पर नरेश वेयर टू यस सर हां यस यस मेरी मम्मी पापा ने बहुत स्ट्रगल करके मुझे बचाया है ब्लड कैंसर से हॉस्पिटल में मुझे बहुत सारे uh, actually, sir, she doesn't remember uh, this incident, sir. We okay. just uh, told uh, told her to how to how to uh, the situation is going on at there, sir. Okay. Uh, at the first day, uh, very uh, as a starting period, we don't have we just listen the blood cancer word from uh, Hindi pictures, sir. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, sudden we just uh, listen from our doctor. Uh, you, your daughter is a uh, direct uh, blood cancer yeah. and uh, at the time I, I just felt uh, sit down and uh, worries about the uh, disease sir how, how can we come from uh, this disease uh, at that time our doctor uh, in Bardoli sir just uh, 30 kilometers away from Surat sir uh, he has written us a letter to GCRI Gujarat Cancer Research Institute sir 
at at there he told me met this doctor sir and then uh, call me back sir okay uh, we we just reach at the we when we reach at uh, reach at there sir gcra we i just thought uh, there might be a, a little uh, a hospital sir then there is no more, more um about 20 to 25 percent at there i i think my thought is that sir but sudden in the morning uh, i just uh, i saw so many people said there sir who is uh, uh, who is patients of cancer sir and then i i i i just realized sir how how big the disease is sir okay and then we met uh, the doctor and uh, gave him a uh, uh, I gave him a uh, list sir uh, 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 what which is given by our uh, doctor at bardoli sir and uh, met him yeah. and yeah, he, well, he told me uh, told us uh, just uh, uh, he told us uh, exactly you are admitted in the hospital and yeah. then the pro then procedure is sir taken and sir at the same day sir okay नरेश जी इनफैक्ट आयुषु से आयुषि आपको कैसा लगा वो जा, स्कूल जा जाके डायग्नोस होने के बाद स्कूल जाके लोग क्या सोचा बताया वो आप कैसा टैकल किया उनको क्या टीचर्स कैसा उनको आपको रिसीव किया वो याद नहीं है अभी <laughs> Oh, that's good. How are you feeling now? Fine. You are fine, and uh, you can take on the world Energetic. now. Energetic. Huh? Energetic. Energetic. Wow, that's good. That's the way to go. And uh, in fact, I am very proud of you. I am uh, proud of meeting you, and uh, calling you over to the factory to share your story. Story. And. Uh, it's my also proud. Yeah. Please continue to inspire us with your determination. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes. So, should we uh, thank you so much, uh, Paishi? You can uh, continue, and uh, maybe the other people also, if uh, they are there, they have any questions or something, we can uh, get back to you. Thank you. And, thank you. Uh, thank you good. And uh, I will go to Miss Aparna Srinivas. Aparna ji. And come on the screen, yeah, Aparna. She was one of the reviewer of the book, yeah. She's a lawyer by profession, now full time, um, the, you know, homemaker, and uh, balancing life and you know the other pursuits in uh, this one. Yeah, Aparna. Happy Father's Day to everyone. Oh, thank you, so, thank you so much. I um, happened to read the book before it was published, like you mentioned. So I read. Your voice is not coming. My audible now. Yes, now. Yeah. Just no, before not it was now. published. Ah. Something and, wrong. Uh, is it... so maybe you can speak directly yeah, into the computer. Your voice is breaking. Your voice is breaking. is it better now yeah okay no i think you uh, straight to wave speak into the uh, computer no so that can work unmute please unmute yourself am i audible now Yes. 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 So, um, my favorite part of the book is the part uh, which deals with the Serengeti National Park. Serengeti, okay, yeah. Learning from animals was very inspiring. Yeah. And uh, I also wanted to ask you, what was your, what is your favorite chapter in the book? My favorite chapter, uh, you know, obviously. Uh, to your father and mother every children is a favorite children so that's the way it is so all the chapters are favorite but still i have uh, what i say just one second i have not prepared for this question one uh, obviously 
I'm inspired by youngsters, as you can make out. Ayushi's chapter is uh, right on top. There is a chapter about a seven-year-old boy, Shyam, who I encountered in a long train journey from Delhi to Rajkot. Brilliant fellow, brilliant fellow. I, you know, I don't, I didn't want to share my phone number with him or his number with me because I didn't want to keep tracking where he's going or something. But if his parents handle him properly, 15 years later, you will hear something great about him. A kind of, you know, mental agility and the quick footedness he showed was amazing. Second chapter, that was good. And of course, I met one uh, CEO of uh, one big paper company in Brazil, and uh, probably the biggest company in the world uh, at that point of time when I met him. And uh, obviously, I've related a very small uh, this one. And he, during the meeting, he was supposed to host a dinner for us, a formal dinner. During the end of the meeting, he said, uh, I'm sorry, I have to excuse myself. And the reasons are not big, very small. My daughter's... Uh, um, a maths exam is today, uh, tomorrow. So I have to sit with her and uh, this one, I would prefer to do it, uh, you know, much uh, with a lot of apologies to you people. That's my priority number one, Karke. I immediately stood up right in the middle of the meeting and saluted him for his, uh, you know, uh, take uh, on his family, what, what kind of family values uh, they had. And of course, the father uh, driver, Keeney, in Ireland, Galway. Three of his sons and daughters are world champions in tap dancing and millionaires. Every uh, cup they win, they must be making a million. But this gentleman is a taxi driver. And, uh, you know, that is one. And of course, uh, the chapters on Kapil Dev and uh, um, Richard Adley and uh, the Kolkata, I would leave it, uh, you know, uh, open so you people can you know read it from the book Kapil obviously is an inspiring character and uh, I was in a very sullen mood that day because of COVID restrictions nearly nine months of confinement I suffered COVID I was within the within this room for nearly 21 days oh. and obviously you know it was uh, I wouldn't call it suicidal despair because I don't know what is suicide I haven't experienced one nor have I seen anybody who has experienced one a very sullen mood and, you know, very depressed, the whole temperature was down, it was cloudy, this one. How he changed my mood from there to an absolute, uh, you know, one of enthusiasm, hope, etc. Within two seconds, it is amazing. You can read it from the book. So this is the kind of character is. So these are some of the chapters which inspired me. And obviously the zebras inspired me. 40,000 zebras. The driver said it's about eight colonies or countries of zebras from eight different locations. And a small patch of watering hole of maybe 20 heads can go in. Absolute discipline. Man has only to feel one way, ashamed. I don't know who taught them discipline, who taught them their fair share, who taught them patience. Fantastic. Yeah. Can you read out some part of any of these chapters? Uh, I will do one thing. Uh, maybe this, uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, okay. So related, to maybe, maybe good uh, to read uh, this one only because it's short, so it'll be inspiring. The CEO of a global company and his lessons on priorities. We had a meeting with the CEO of Fibria, the largest pulp and paper company in Brazil valued at some uh, 49,000 crores. I mean, this is the sales value. And whose exports alone is more than the sales of all the pulp and paper companies in India, and hopefully in South Africa as well. And oh. uh, companies put together in the organized sector in India. The meeting was between 3 and 4 p.m. And he had earlier invited us for a dinner at uh, that night at 8 p.m. Towards the end, he said, gentlemen, I have to regret that I may not be able to join you for the dinner. The reason is personal, but simple and not complicated. My daughter who is 12 years old has a maths exam tomorrow and I want to sit next to her and support her preparation. He said it without a trace of apology, indicating clearly where his priorities were. I had to fight that fear developing in my eyes. I have never given my daughter the kind of care and concern and attention like this. 
never. I we I talk about a lot of family values, but in one moment he knocked the stuffing out of my conceit and showed me the mirror. While departing, I asked him to convey my best wishes to his daughter for her exams. He replied, if you're good at maths, I would invite you to come and spend some time with her. I smiled and knew pretty well he would have perhaps taken the offer if I had said yes. But you all know I'm not a mathematical genius. So I would have fared much worse in her 10th standard or 12th, uh, rather 6th or 7th standard preparation. So I said, you know, thank you so much. One inspiring moment, you know, it's uh, very good. Yeah. Kumar, uh, Kumar if, if you can interject, see on a Father's Day, you're, uh, you're ashamed, at least one father here by quoting this incident. Oh, I yeah, mean, like, yeah, uh, no, no. <laughs> no, actually, I mean, uh, uh, sorry for digressing a bit, but I, you know, my uh, tendency to interview people all sundry, etc. The generally, the fathers are supposed to be vagabond, you know, stray and do whatever this one, not attached to the family. And, you know, that's the kind of figure that we normally carry. I tell you, that is absolutely false in 98% of the cases. When I see, you know, this uh, coconut uh, slices vendor, people who sell fruits on the, you know, side of the footpath and nuts, etc., for small, this one kind of fire in their eyes that I see, who's already talked, he's doing in the, you know, uh, in the blazing sun at 46 and 47, he's braving it out, right from 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock to 8 o'clock and this one. And uh, what is he doing it for? He may be taking a little bit of salting away, a little you know, money for his own drinking and things like that, which I consider is essential. You can't be putting 14 hours and, you know, uh, uh, you know, tiring yourself out without any little bit of uh, respite, but the balance goes to the family. It's intense commitment to his family to feed them first, provide some kind of a shelter, and then, uh, you know, take care of the studies, whether it is uh, the shoe mender or, you know, lowest level of this one. In fact, I've interviewed one uh, janitor in, uh, you know, Delhi airport. In fact, I had posted uh, the fic, uh, this one photo also about four or five years back. It is intense. And I don't think uh, as a clan, whether it is mother or father, I'm, I'm not, a, you know, a distinction. We need to be ashamed uh, of any a father or something. It is simply not in me. I believe every father, every mother is up to give their family the very best. They can afford. I mean, obviously, it's all circumscribed by so many other things, opportunities, money, and, uh, education, all this. That's the way I look at it. So, congratulations to all the father on the Father's Day. And whether uh, or you know, but I don't think there's anything to be ashamed of, in my opinion. Yeah, who wants to go next? Sujit? I'll just, uh, uh, you have to unmute. Can I? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, Excellency. Yes, I, uh, just, just give me a. Uh... You have to mute, unmute, unmute. Unmute, Excellency. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, very clearly. Yes. My question, my question is, uh, how did you come across to writing these uh, inspiring stories? Was it uh, on purpose that uh, whenever you had uh, some interactions, that uh, purposefully, you, you went to look for those uh, inspiring uh, messages from your interactions, or did you write the book upon reflection? You know, as you sat down, going down the memory lane, and then you concluded that uh, these are unsigned heroes. These are uh, inspiring messages that you could sit down and write a book. I'm curious. Yeah. Uh, Excellency, what, uh, I mean, it has been in me and uh, anybody I meet, I try, you know, tend to strike up, strike up a conversation, be it a co-traveler in the aircraft or a train or, uh, you know, somebody who I meet or shops or friends, colleagues, everybody I strike a conversation. 
and over a period of time i would tend to think that uh, you know uh, i don't have the i don't want to claim i have the knack or something but slowly i have mm. become uh, what should i say non judgmental in my conversation so i just uh-huh. listen to them and the pri- my primary victims are the taxi drivers from airport to residence i psych up mm. conversation and uh, come up with uh, you know conversation i am non judgmental and everybody wants to be heard that is uh, you know oh, yeah. for sure and uh, mm. there are some positive stories there are some negative stories some people don't want to converse uh, reveal themselves they are non transparent mm. so if yeah. i have maybe 10 conversations so maybe you know five of them will be you know no f- f- fruitful or something one or two might be very great so i try to record mm. them within about you know 48 hours 72 hours and put it in the facebook if mm. it is inspiring only positive stories oh, and yes. uh, after some time uh, try to publish uh, through like a book say now thank you thank you so much and uh, in fact i had uh, narrated one story about a driver in uh, who drive drove us around uh, in south africa around johannesburg and okay. uh, i happened to i don't think whether it is in this book or my previous book and uh, something happened and i uh, questioned them about why south africans uh, you know revere uh, uh, dr mandela so much obviously uh, and i didn't have any visions of provoking him but he did uh, you know appear provoked and from his driving were very garrulous like most south africans are and uh, you know very talkative it went cold and silent mm. and i was seated in the seat next to him and i was thinking i have done something extremely wrong a question which i shouldn't have asked mm. and probably mm. you'll take out a gun and you know put put me from present tense mm. to past tense and mm. johannesburg is known for it so mm. uh, you know he uh, about two three minutes i think even uh, you know my wife and daughter were seated uh, behind i think they were also getting a little jittery suddenly he erupted said because of him we are free i think if uh, mm. decibel levels had to be attached it must be 480 or 500 mm. so very animated than this so i felt really wrong mm. on so this is how much you're going to be you know scaring me not beyond that <laughs> so it is very interesting uh, conversation and after that he told how uh, dr mandela revived south africa mm-hmm. in a manner very responsible in the international scenario something mm-hmm. which we have not seen elsewhere perhaps including india but he did not mm-hmm. uh, you know want to hit back at anybody he was mm-hmm. very uh, clear what about the way path the peaceful way forward without mm-hmm. revenge and that i think uh, is worthy of a salute Thank you so mm. much for carrying forward his legacy. Thank you so much. Kumar, Kumar can I, I say know. something? Ah uh, yeah, Sujit. <coughs> Hello Kumar. One minute uh, Sujit uh, I will introduce you. Mr Sujit uh, Mukherjee used to be my colleague and you are now his friend and the co-director in one or two companies. He is the president of the Worldwide Poets Forum. About 109 mm. countries or something is there and he is the head of that uh, institution. president yeah. of 5 years so he writes a lot of poems and mm. uh, i think about 40 books he has published and he uh, recently published what is called renaissance man which has mm. four five this one is also a well known cook besides being a photographer and a uh, poet yeah sujit yeah mm. <clears throat> no, no, i today i'm here not for my poetry anything else i'm here to thank you kumar uh, for bringing out all these beautiful stories and <clears throat> at the end of mine i'll tell you what of a small stories of the risk of talking to so called taxi drivers because you and i had a similar profession i also used to travel a lot all over the world and uh, nothing could be better than uh, a conversation with a local local person uh, nobody is better than a taxi guy and the first contact you have in a foreign country is a yeah, i'll tell you two minutes later that story of mine i am very tempted to talk about it what i want to say today you know i wanted to bring the your books and ask few few things from the book but it is worth sharing with you then i realized in my home your book i am in a queue i am the last one because everybody including my 10 year old grandchildren was scratching the book and going through a leaf so that is the popularity of your book my home 
bigger home as 12 member family. So you can okay. imagine if my home, there's a queue of people who are finding interest of all ages. You know, there are guys who are 90 years, there are guys who said 10 to 12 years. So compliment to you, congratulations. If it can do to my home, I'm sure many people will find it interesting. Thank you, and thanks so much. Sir. In my uh, cover writing, anybody who has bought the book or seen the book, you have seen what I have written in the book, which I've written from my heart, being an author, being a poet, being so many person uh, in me, I have written all of us, I don't, all of us go through the road, all of us lead a life of our own, all of us swing in the thing and how many of us notice all around what is there? That is what Kumar is all about. That oh, I have written there. This is his book by, by, by the way, Renaissance Man. It is available on uh, Amazon and uh, buy and uh, read. Thank you. Yeah, so what, but... what I was saying that um, how many of us uh, is okay. like you. a diver in the sea <clears throat> who's able to collect the pearls and he knows where to collect the pearl. You know, there are thousands of creatures, fish and everything in the sea. Uh, same thing, I, I call it a human forest on a, in a civilization aspect wherever we travel. But some people like him are blessed to spot that particular person and also tremendously blessed to put it down in writing. <clears throat> and, and I'm sure those who read this book, even I have seen it family, that their eyes are opened. Why can't we? I say, you don't see that. You know, your eyes are not open. You know, in my book, which uh, he showed uh, now, he and I share all our stories, uh, similar stories I have. I have uh, 30 such uh, stories, which are from my own life experiences. Many people had asked me, you are such internationally well known literary person, why didn't you write? Uh, Right, uh, Upanyas, what do you call novel? I said, look, I have so many novels happening all around it. Let me complete that because they are much more lively, interesting life stories than you know writing. And because we are not a professional author uh, for commercial purposes. Lastly, what I want to—I don't want to take much time. I want to say about my experience with the taxi driver, Kumar. You may be knowing we had an office in Chicago, and yeah. I had to go once or twice uh, to that office. <clears throat> Once I had gone there after two, three years, you know, and the guy who had come to pick me up in the airport, after a few kilometers, I realized this is the guy who had picked me up last time. And wow. I have whole conversation with him last time. I knew his country, his village, his wife's name, all the thing I remembered because I took interest in him. So he could not recognize me. He's a taxi driver, man like me, come and go every time through him. Then halfway through me, I asked his by his name. I forget his name. Forget me. Forgive me for that. He said, "Did you find your uh, permit for this country, which was struggling in the year two, three years?" He shocked. He stopped the car. I said, "Who are you?" I said, "I am the guy who drove it two, three years ago." So these are the very interesting thing happens if you if you you know observe yourself and you know to connect to people. Basically, what I want to say about Kumar and people like me. First thing is to connect with people, take interest in people. People are not only our family members, all around we are surrounded by people, you know. Little interest will throw up that, you know, what is the, what is there inside to that? And you know, whoever can pick it up. So that's all. Thank I you have. so much. Thank you so much. Kumar. Thank you. Thank Lakshmi, you. you wanted to go sign off. Uh, you can have your say. You are on mute. She is a Tamil poet as well, and uh, besides uh, uh, having retired from railway service. Can you hear yeah, me? Lakshmi. Namaste. Good evening, everyone. I'm very happy to be present uh, here at Dilanjit Kumar's latest book. This uh, last published book, it's a travelogue, Weird Adventures and Uncommon Lessons, it made a very interesting read. Let us uh, travel along with him to explore explore the political, economic, and uh, social uh, many agencies, and the people also from presidents to ordinary uh, As he himself advocates, uh, while the travelogue was a narration of his experiences and uh, life's lessons, the present book is a collection of uh, what he saw, what he heard, and what he felt. I can say Kumar has a plan for uh, striking conversations with the ordinary people, the working class especially, the cabbies, uh, this is a perennial seeker of good in uh, all and focuses on the brighter side of uh, any human being. Uh, and thus, he brings out uh, from the unsung heroes uh, like these people. And such people uh, who uh, look at life and uh, live the life 
uh, in a practical way, extraordinary wisdom or the unsung heroes of this book. He is not left alone, even the animal kingdom untouched. The, the, uh, the animals uh, seem to have delivered more interesting stories than humans to him. Uh, his uh, style of uh, narration uh, gets, uh, gets us gradually engrossed in the book and makes it uh, unputdownable in his own way. At the end, all that reminds with that is that the world is uh, still a beautiful place to live in. Uh, that just uh, justifying uh, that these stories are really uplifting. Happy reading, everyone. Keep them coming from our all the best. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much. And uh, I'll now invite Vasimalai. Are you there? Vasi? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, thank you. And uh, I was a little um, taken aback when uh, my story is in the uh, kind of uh, first one. But um, I'm really uh, very, very, your sensitivity to the common things, no? Uh, and more impressed in the last one, your uh, travel in the train, the Kube, no? How yeah. that person is uh, so sensitive. People are many heroes around us. And always when we really have a sensitivity, we really also get learned from them. And we are also more human. I think yeah. that's what all your um, uh, uh, responses and writing is quite uh, really inspirational. And every human being uh, should really take a leaf out of it. Nice work. Thank you. Thank you, Vasimalai, for uh, taking the time just to give an introduction of Mr. Uh, Vasimalai, who is listed as Dunn Foundation. That's his uh, foundation that he performed maybe immediately after quitting or rather uh, passing out of IIM Ahmedabad. And I have been following his story right through these years. Uh, once in three years, five years, I go there and see truly inspirational social work. And uh, today he is making a difference in the life of more than 20 lakh people. His, this one is not to interfere with their lifestyle, but to build capabilities in a way that he can sign off after three years or four years to let them lead their own life of, uh, you know, uh, prosperity and, uh, you know, uh, enhanced income, comfort, welfare, etc. If you are uh, going to Madurai anytime, the first temple that you should visit, in my opinion, is Dhan Foundation. And, uh, you know, before you go to any of the churches, mass or temples. For that is where, you know, don't mistake my saying that Mr. The, you know, Vasimalai, God manifests himself through social service and, uh, you know, making a life, I mean, difference to the life of so many people. That he's a classmate makes me feel very proud. And uh, best wishes to all of you to take a look at what he's doing. And best wishes and thanks on behalf of the country to Mr. Vasimalai for your excellent work. In fact, I was trying to, uh, you know, recommend him for uh, uh, Padma Shri or Padma Bhushan, which he refused. In fact, he had refused earlier, even this Maksase or something, uh, even uh, refusing to be nominated. So extraordinary character and uh, truly inspirational. Thank you, Mr. Vasimalai. Uh, it's all God's work. We are the, the tools in the God's hand. Really wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Manikuti. Yeah. Mr. Manikuti is a professor in IIM Ahmedabad and IIM um, Bangalore. And he uh, teaches uh, management in all, uh, you know, uh, what should I say, not kinds of way, all inspirational kind of ways, including from the Bhagavad Gita, or Bhagavad Puranas, and, you know, literature, poem, etc. A truly different kind of professor. He has also endorsed that book. Mr. Manikuti. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for inviting me to my but I have been enjoying all his earlier books as well, you know, books on various issues, economic policies, and things like that. But this one, of course, was very, very different. But uh, knowing Kumar Swami came as no surprise that he put all the what you may call as anecdotes. Anecdotes, you know, in the academic community, they are you not know, really uh, looked upon very well because they don't constitute a piece of evidence which we can write published in a journal. But how does it really happen? Each of these anecdotes do carry in, in a great deal of insight, great deal of wisdom. And uh, in fact, when I got the, the hard copy of the book, uh, you know, the copy of the book originally, 
and which was there in the soft copy, we said we need to read in order to be able to study. But when I got the final copy, then it was so nice to see. And, uh, you know, as it should be, the very first chapter is on the foundation. And, uh, of course, uh, we are all very proud and, uh, that we have Vasilai as uh, not only the somebody that we know, but also as our batchmates. And, uh, but we were in the same batch. I was the doctor. We were the doctor. So, uh, if you really ask me this question, you know, tell me which is your most favorite in your part. I think you find it hard because I just kept flipping the pages, uh, uh, you know, one after the other after the other. And I could not really find the say that uh, this is, uh, you know, the best story in all the stories. But certainly, Ayushi's story struck me extremely as a deeply, deeply meaning. Somebody who could uh, do that kind of a package, the health foundation, uh, that Kumar, that driver uh, about uh, South Africa, and the puking. Your voice is sinking. Yes. Yeah. So you may have to speak up or from near the mic. Ah, okay, okay. So I will put my desktop. Are you joining? Yeah, is it okay now? Yeah, it's okay now. Yeah. No, because it had uh, gone back into. Yeah. So I was just saying all those stories, then foundation, Aishi, uh, brave battle, and and all types of stories that you have in that. And I could really see that uh, when we came to IMA one, he straightway struck a conversation with our chaiwala there outside the gate. Who kipungi had uh, had them in a number of cups of tea, and uh, he could amazingly get so much of information, so much of information from him on various kinds of various topics and things like that. Of course, he uses them to gain insights about larger issues in economic policy and things like that. He doesn't stop at being a story. So he's not uh, just a journalist who wrote his impression. So with this, I would uh, certainly wish the book all success. And it is cert most certainly worth reading. There is no question about that. And uh, uh, people would uh, say that, well, uh, you know, each one of those, what do I get by way of an insight? What do I get by way of better understanding? And larger issues also involved there. It is not just a story. Issues are involved in peace. And I would say that the party document is generally up to Okay, thanks, Thomas so Swami. Thank you, Mr. Professor Manikuti. I think it has been inspirational, uh, you know, uh, I mean, working with you or rather, uh, you know, knowing you as well as interacting with you. Thank you so much for taking the time out today. And I'll go to Mr. Mudar uh, today. Mudar is a very well known columnist, econom eco economic as well as corporate analyst, uh, this one. And of course, nowadays he's more into, uh, you know, uh, one of the top notch uh, PR guys in the corporate world. And uh, having a clutch of uh, companies in his PR portfolio, one of the man of words who weaves words, uh, uh, you know, as uh, uh, pretellingly as uh, anybody I've known. And he lives in Calcutta. Besides, of course, his social interventions in Calcutta also are. Uh, making uh, a lot of uh, a difference. Yes, Mudarji. So I think you are the PR consultant and you've given <laughs> me such a great, uh, you know, lift. And uh, I think you are an inborn uh, PR consultant. I think, so I'll tell you what I liked about the book. True hallmark of a PR person. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I've been uh, on the receiving end and I've loved it. And uh, I think I'll tell you what I like about the book. I think it's a book that's relevant to all of us not only from a reader perspective, most people will see themselves as readers. I think it would be a waste of an opportunity if we didn't see ourselves as writers of a book like this. You know, most people think that books have to be written from VT perspectives, they have to talk about highfalutin stuff. What you've done is you virtually busted that myth. And you've made a very simple book about, I'm not saying everyday occurrences, but largely everyday occurrences people who are common, you meet in everyday life. I think in some ways, this book has helped sharpen my perspective that there's a hero in every one of us. There's a hero everywhere around us. Otherwise, we generally seek heroes in the headlines. You've said it's actually in the fine print. Uh, 
you in some ways we see heroes as people who are above 30 40 50 you have seen and identified heroes who are less than 10 years old so in some ways it's it's an amazing exercise in widening our own uh, from a 16 mm perspective of life you've actually taken us to a 70 mm perspective by saying that a hero is probably anywhere anyhow in any any form and i think that's in a lot of ways an educate a very humbling education because we have stereotyped our mind into believing that heroes can only be of a certain kind i'll tell you the i read the the chapter on sham i think you know these memories of some of the characters that you woven will remain because it's precisely because the this heroship is achievable it's not you know it's not about the 175 that couple hit at tunbridge wells i won't be able to do it but sham now next time i see some kid like that i'll make a mental note and i'll do something better than what you've done i'll take down the kid's number i'll take <laughs> down the kid's address sure. uh, i think uh, there are a number of heroes and i think it's you know i'll tell you this is something that comes to mind now it's not necessarily a celebration of their lives it's a celebration of your life as well i think it's a more fulfilling existence for someone to see a hero in everyone and i think it works both ways the one part of the book that i quite resonated with was the pl- place where you mentioned very well spoke very well about the suicidal tendency you know i'll be very honest it happens to all of us there's nobody who can there's no tendulkar alive who can say that boss i've never felt this way even in fact i know even tendulkar felt terrible when his when he had the, the elbows thing and he had he, his wife counseled him so i think these are the two things that i learned from that kapil chapter one it can happen to any one of us most of us go through it and you know sometimes don't acknowledge or don't talk you've written about it and i felt very relieved after hearing this because i didn't i felt otherwise that my occasional suicidal and you know worth feeling of worthlessness was very isolated within me i now feel that virtually everybody possibly may be going through the same number one and the second part the second part was it took so little to turn you around it yes, took so yes. little it took so little for the celebrity to turn you around and i think this is something that i would send to all celebrities that if this is the little that it can take you i mean what did kapil do eventually he took a selfie with you and he he used the camera i love the man it, i've been fortunate to know him at a personal level and at a professional level i think he is in a lot of ways he doesn't look like the boy next door but in spirit he is actually the boy next door and i think this is quite something remarkable i often come across <clears throat> uh pompous asses you know masquerading as celebrities and i think i would like to read them this couple ch- segment of the couple chapter and you know it took so little for for him to turn you around and i think this is what this is the power of what a true celebrity actually holds in his or her hand the capacity to make the world a better place and how very few of them actually exercise that license i love that chapter and i'm probably even going to show it to my wife to ask her to read it i thought oh, i you. haven't yet i haven't yet completed the book so it will grow on me as i keep you know going through it i would say that by selecting a subject as common place as the one you have you made it a very uncommon book and thank you very much for it thank you so much and if you happen to meet kapil you show this chapter to him i'll take uh, a i'll take a picture is, uh, and send it to him on the whatsapp tonight no more coming to the golf club where i may have met him and in any case i have more or less uh, i'm more or less through with golf because of back pain problems okay. and that takes me to the, my golf partner mr uh, gauri shankar ghosh 1967 ias uh, ias and he served long years uh, with amol gmdc etc as uh, their md and chairman before going over to uh, un as a consultant in uh, uh, you know uh, natural resources geology etc he's a phd in geology and he has a unique uh, honor of having worked with our pm but he doesn't have any charitable references though often uh, when he was a cm in gujarat and uh, mr ghosh has been always a pleasure working uh, been uh, walking with him for playing golf and of course i was never anything about uh, to write home about in golf what i used to enjoy is conversations with him i used to keep on uh, you know asking him questions ye kya hai wo kya hai wo kyun aa raha hai sir i used to patiently use his experiences uh, right around the world to answer all those uh, questions and uh, he's also spent some time in wto uh, mr gosh 
Sir, you are on mute. You are on mute. You are on mute. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Loud and clear. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, what you described just now is a description of a zero, not a hero. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, because we, uh, I always say that you know nowadays, after the retirements and others, we are when we group. And we always start uh, saying something, when we were so-and-so, when we were in the position. And I think this past tense thinking is not uh, in your book at all. In your book is actually the present and future. Yeah. And I was very happy because my just previous speaker ended with the Kapil story. And I read the Kapil story and you obliquely mentioned me because it was me who canceled the <laughs> you know, golf, golf game. And yet you went there uh, with the gloomy, I, I still remember that gloomy day. It was a, an awful day and you met with Kapil. And I just add a postscript to that story that I think next week we are playing together again. Okay. And and you told me that, you know, you had a wonderful meeting with Kapil. And I said that, oh, that's wonderful. I missed him. And, you know, lo and behold, he was there in the next course. Oh, and I then see. You remember that. Then we we we, uh, we took a photo together. Absolutely. And, and, and uh, you know, he was such a warm, simple human being. Uh, and that is what actually touched me a lot. Yes, now, coming back to your book, Kumar, uh, you know, we discussed a lot of serious finance issues, uh, policy issues, but what appealed this book to me, and I almost finished in one sitting three-fourths of it, I've not completed it, that uh, you just touched the heart of the issue of a person. That means a person... I mean, why is important to you? Whether he is a uh, auto driver, or he is Kapil Dev, or he is some uh, a person with a business background. I mean, you picked up immediately the human part of it, and that is really attracted me very much. And I, I, I'm also on the process of writing a book. And I said, I, my God, you know, why I can't think like Kumar? You know, he, he is analyzing. For example, I was writing a chapter only two days back on my meeting with Desmond Tutu. And I was writing very seriously, you know, the Desmond Tutu, how the conversation went and other. And then I read, read it again. And I said that, no, I'm not capturing the way you captured the simplicity, the childness in him, the person who was, in spite of achieving that level, was just next door person, and and that that was true too, and and I think uh, uh, real. I'm sorry. Uh, can can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you you see, uh, this is what I we mistake when we meet with a, a celebrity or non celebrity. We try to find out something big and greatness in him, whether we miss the real big part, which is hidden in his character. And that you brought it out so simply, so beautifully. In fact, you know, to be very honest, I must confess, Kumar, you know, I enjoyed this book much more than your other book, which was on very serious theory and policy level book. There. <laughs> you know, this was written superbly. And I wish yeah. that, you know, you really keep on writing in this style. And I wish, I only hope that I can imitate your style in my book. <laughs> it, it, was, it was a beautiful, it was a beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ghosh. It is, I think, uh, half of it is undeserved, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you so much. I will continue my this one. Next, I will go to Mr. David Wolf and finally with Mr. Arun Jain about, about the formal part. And uh, David. Yes, sir. Thank you, Kumar. Wonderful you can come on the here. screen, David. Oh, oh, I, let me. Uh... David is a long there time uh, India uh, friend, uh, Indo Business Council. And okay. he knows uh, rather for the last 50 years, right from Indira Gandhi to Sanjay mm -hmm. Gandhi to 
our business leaders like uh, Keshub Mahindra and the Murugappa group, everybody has been uh, involved in dealing with them in one way or the other. And uh, somehow uh, we have become friends without uh, not much of business with <laughs> ourselves. And uh, we tried. Well, Rich, as you would say, we tried. Yes, that's good. Yeah, we David. Tried. No, Kumar, listen, it's wonderful that you're so, you remain so active and uh, wonderful that you continue to write your books, even after corporate life. You've had a terrific uh, worldwide experience and it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's wonderful that you take the time to share your experiences. And uh, I have not, I, I apologize, but I have not, I'm gonna read your book. Uh, I have to get it here in the United States I'll get it off of Amazon, but listening to everyone else, I have to read the book uh, after listening to everything uh, that everyone said. So it is, um, you know, it's wonderful that you do it. And uh, I hope you continue to write more books because you've had so many experiences around the world and uh, it's, it's so wonderful to, to read it. So thank you again for, and all of your friends. Uh, thank you again, Kumar and all the best. And, uh, I'm looking forward to the next book. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It is available on both Kindle and uh, printed version in US as well, uh, for digital print, digitally printed. So you can always uh, order one and put some favor favorable uh, remarks in the remarks column. That would be a fail. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. And, uh, good luck. Thank you. And uh, I'll go to Mr. Arun Jain. Of his uh, grandfather, there is a chapter and uh, I will just uh, take a minute to describe when I, you know, people have been teasing me to uh, come and look the uh, humaneness of humanity in Calcutta during this uh, puja times. But somehow it was, uh, you know, eluding me. And finally he got hold of me once and, you know, I come, this is the time you come, Karke. And I, I went to him. And the day I was, I landed uh, maybe in the afternoon, in the evening I had been to his house to, you know, start the... Uh, pursuit of various pandals, which starts at around uh, maybe only midnight only. So I landed up his, in his place at around eight o'clock. And uh, there was a gentleman who seemed 80, 90 or something. He said, uh, you know, Kumar, be here and I'll dress up and come. And this gentleman immediately started a conversation. You know, uh, this was about five years back. I had written a book on pure economics how to make growth happen in India. And he started discussing chapters and this one and I was completely <laughs> foxed. First of all, how did he know that I am this person? How is he connecting? And how is he remembering so many things that uh, I even I didn't uh, remember at that point of time? So obviously, I gathered my wits and started, uh, you know, explaining my point of view and things like that. And he was very categorical. No, this I don't agree. This I agree. This is the reason. That's the reason. What is your reason? Everything fine. And uh, I was amazed at his memory. He was 95 year old. He has, I believe. Yeah, you're Jane. correct. Yeah. You are correct. He was 92 at that time. Okay. I don't pro probably you can uh, talk. So first and foremost, I would say, as <clears throat> Mr. Ghosh has said on that part, that you have something special in writing that you actually picked up the best part of any human being on that part. Why I'm saying so? Because as I said, I, I am a hardcore finance guy and our relationship, uh, my relationship with you started on a banking ground on that part. And how actually it culminated in a story is an all it's a, it's a really interesting experience because i have been uh, interacting with you you have been interacting with me mostly on banking and finance and there was nothing personal and nothing human on that part so when we discussed on this and you said i'm writing another book i i i, I said that yeah i got your earlier book also incidentally that book i have not read because of my work involvement and other thing but my grandpa actually read the entire book and he has so much praise for you saying he has brought out all important issues which the economy is suffering today because it has an element of uh, the common man uh, fighting out the inflation it has uh, uh, a, a element of uh, rupee getting depreciated it has and all the financial point i will not go much on that part but why, what i want to say is that it was a pure financial and economics books and it was more of technical to understand that how the economies can perform he had read the entire book and he said man he has he has bottled all the issues which can which a human being can face in his day-to-day -day life also in his book on that part and he was asking me about you then i said him uh, that yeah he's uh, uh, he's a writer but he's also an eminent uh, 
uh, personality in JK Group. He heads the finance part, and we this is the way he interacted. Then he started recounting me that I was I know this person, I know these people because he also had worked in JK Group prior to my birth. In fact, I born in 1980, and he worked somewhere in 1960s or so. But then he was saying that. they have a good human touch and when you came on that day because we were just planning out for a day out at uh, durga puja to see um, how calcutta <clears throat> enjoys the uh, enjoys the cultural beauty in uh, durga festival you get that opportunity to in speak and interact with him and also uh, uh, you discuss with him the old uh, legacy things and he was remembering everything because he uh, actually till his last week was having photogenic memory and he can say the family tree in seconds and minutes today also we forgets name as we remember the person and we say we have met you somewhere so when we have met but he used to remember everything on that part and the way you have covered in your book i i would say that has come out so nicely and it is not that that every great people has to be uh, <clears throat> mentioned in any story or in any writing or other things but people uh, who have a touch of togetherness people who have emotional feelings i think that element has come out so nicely from your side and i really got emotional and i really want to thank you because today again it's a fathers day and for me he is more than my father he is my great grandfather on that part so no day can be better for me to discuss remember him on that part and i really want to say thank you and the way you bring out the best in the common man in the normal human being life how and they it can have an impact so it has come out so nicely so effectively i would wish you to and request you to write the same way and bring out all this untold or unheard stories but which deserves a mention on that part so thanks a lot it has come out very effectively this book i have read the last book actually i have not read but this book i have read across and i think you can inspire many people and you can bring out the truth of many good people and uh, that will really create a lot of value for everyone thank you varun ji it was a wonderful meeting with your great uh, grandfather it was uh, you know humbling to meet him uh, to say the least and uh, 